Okay, so I am drinking Nespresso Original Line Stockholm Fortissio Lungo. And I've tried it black, which is how it's intended to be drunk, and it's really good. But I'm frothing up some oat milk, some no sugar plain oat milk, and I'm going to go ahead and pour it in here on top of the coffee and see how that tastes because it has a very uh, has a bold flavor so I'm thinking that it can stand to have that frothed milk on it let's see my froth is still going here I'll show you a picture of what this capsule looks like so there it is It's an intensity of 8 out of 13. Okay. Okay, so, see that blinking light? That means that my milk froth is ready. Let me go get it here. Oh, wow. Now, I don't want to put too much in because there's not very much coffee in here. Mmm, that frothed oat milk is so good. So, I'm just going to give it a stir around. This is maybe, I would say, there's two, two and a half ounces of coffee in here. Let's see if it held up. I gotta say, it's better black. So do you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to take this. Now, I only, uh, I have just one cup of caffeinated coffee a day. So, let's see if I can, there we go. So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to get some decaf Altissio, which is an espresso. Let's see, is this, have I got that here? Is this the Altissio? Yes, Altissio Decaffeinata. Whoa, time to order more. And I'm going to go ahead and brew this into the Stockholm Fortissio Lungo. Uh, oh, gee whiz. Okay, we have the dance of the electrical connections here. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to put in a little more of the foam. I'll put the rest in after it's done. Okay, come on. Oh, I've got the machine all confused by... There we go. All right. It's got its brains all unscrambled now. Okay, so here we go. So, a lungo on the original line machine is 3.75 ounces. And I probably drank about a little more than a third of that black. And espresso on either the original line or the Virtuo is 1.35 ounces. Okay, so I've got that in here. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, if you let your frother sit with the foam in it, the foam starts to dissipate and separate into milk and liquid milk and then foam on top. It's nice foam. Mm. Mm. Plain no sugar oat milk makes a delicious foam. And when you're drinking it, this may seem funny to give this kind of advice. If you have a lot of uh, froth or foam on top, you sort of have to 
kind of suction it into your mouth in order to not just be getting a mouthful of foam, but to kind of suck that liquid coffee up with it. And you get a little foam mustache. Oh, golly, this is very good. Very, very good. Do you know this is so good? I would actually make this again, deliberately. <laughs> Not just, you know, as futzing around as an experiment here um, because I sort of ruined the Stockholm Fortissio Lungo by putting too much milk in it because it's better black. But now adding the Altissio decaf to it with more froth milk, it's good. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love playing around with these coffees. It's, it's actually difficult to ruin them, in my opinion. And also, I always recommend to people, try a coffee, not just once or twice. Try it several times, because you may find that your taste buds kind of go, hmm, hey, maybe this is something to consider. Okay, have a good day.